All right, I've hello. Ah, there we go. All right, I have had a request to create a bot for RuneScape. Now, I already know there are tons of bots out there that you can get and download, and will probably get caught and banned anyway. So, this is going to be a proof of concept. Oh, not proof of concept. This is going to be an actual creation of a bot, going in, doing an actual like mini script of some kind. It's not a full scale bot. This is like personal go through, you find something that you want to do repetitively overnight, just an idea of what it is. Uh, I'm going to pause the video while I download the jar files and get everything set up that I need. See you in a second. Download, run, install, play. Yes. Man, it has been a long time since I've played. Uh, it's probably been over a year since I last played. And most likely I'm probably going to get banned for making this video in the first place. But you guys will be able to see like how it's done and what's going on with it. And that's okay. Because I program all kinds of cool stuff. So, pausing. Well, 15 minutes into actually playing, um, I finally got my password recovered. So, wow. Yeah, that, t that took a while. That was, that was pretty intense. Adventurers, no pen task. Okay, cool. Yep, just go. I'm ready. Let's play. Oh, it's still loading the game. Alright, pausing. Alright, here we are. Uh, make sure I'm actually recording still. Nope, get rid of that. <laughs> nope, don't have any scripted up yet. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there we are. Okay, we're still playing. So, let's see here. Where am I? Man, it's been a while. Uh-oh. Did she lock up on me? Oh, no. Okay. We're good. So, I remember the fishing pond. Where am I? All right, let me get reorientated here. Okay, this is a good spot. This is uh, this is over here at the forge. Um, just here when you click to go inside the cave, and you can come inside here and do a little bit of mining. And click on this cool stuff. All right, so the way you have to bot in here is you have to reorientate yourself to north, zoom all the way out, and then your clicks will be in the same place. It's kind of taken the 3D out of uh, RuneScape. But, if I remember right, I still have some bot scripts that I created a long time ago. And we're going to see if they still work today. Hang tight. <laughs> okay, I've got a lot of different RuneScape bots thingies, like just runs that I was doing. I think it was called this one, called Glitter. Uh, Alright. So this was a minor bot for picking, smelting, smithing, selling. Uh, empty out your inventory. Talk to that guy right there. Tobias Bronze Arms. Alright. Uh, the hotkey is F9 to end it. The speed will be 10. Delays. Like I put a whole bunch of variables in here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it just works. It's gotta just work, right? Uh, I think I have to talk to him, and then I just kind of okay out of him. But I'm gonna see if this works. Uh, yeah, here we go. F5. Watch it go crazy. Alright, so it looks like he's heading inside. It reorientates itself to north. Then it looks for that first... Uh, seems to still work. So he's got two copper so far. Or three copper.
Four copper. Five copper. Six copper. Oh, this is so boring. It's a, it's a bot. It's a bot that automatically mines. And I actually... I think it does more than that. I think it goes and smelts everything. And it creates something. So you don't get just mining. You also get smelting and crafting. But I can't remember if it's in the right place. Like, you can move your backpack around. So it might not be clicking in just the right area. So, we'll see what it does. And we'll also walk through it once it's done. Just to see what it what it's going through. Uh, by the way, this is the um, RuneScape uh, download app. It's got an MSI installer, so... You can actually install it on your machine. It's still Java, just running in the background. Uh, this should be the last click, I think. Don't quote me. Does he grab something else? Okay, he does grab something else. So, he went down and he took, uh, what did he just pick up? Ten? He's picking up ten. Why would he pick up ten? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't remember why he picks up less iron or tin rock, but we'll find out. We'll see what he does. This just fun. Uh, by the way, Lucky, this is my video uh, per your request about RuneScape bots. Thank you for the comments. Watch your language. My kids can uh, watch my videos. Uh, also, if you look through my other videos and my other series, um, they are all clean. So there's no cursing. There's no bad language. Um, I don't know if you could consider me a bad influence, but... I play Minecraft. Um, I do hypnosis online. Uh, the hypnosis one be careful with because there are people chatting. That's different. Um, but all my other ones are pretty clean. I try and keep a, a nice clean YouTube. Oh. See the spikiness of my hair. Come on, buddy. Come on. You got like one more. He clicks one more time, I think. Your inventory is full. I don't know if that's going to mess it up. We'll see. Nope. He clicked out the door. And there he runs. So, first things first, reorientate yourself. He does that really quick. So he's running over to the smelting furnace. Smelt.
should go over and smith something. Bronze plate body. He's talking to Tobias. Oh, he missed the sell items button. Oh, it's just off a little bit. No, 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 no. All right, so what was it, F9 to stop? All right. Oh. So if I move this down just a little bit, like that, it should hit all of the ones that it was before. Uh, I'm going to sell off the rest of these little things. Sell. Sell. Alright, I'm going to let it run through one more time and just see if it uh, gets up to that point. I'll start recording again once it gets there. Alright. Uh, Paul... Okay, he's uh, on his last run of 10. Now, I don't remember if I had the gloves when I created the, the bot, so we're going to see if he clicks one more time. Okay, he did. So I didn't have the gloves last time, so it would have been even amount. So, I'm going to let him run and smelt some, then uh, we'll be back. Alright, he's almost there. Okay, he was only able to make two that time. Uh, he was left with three bronze bars, and because of the gloves and didn't have another smelt. So, all right, here we go. Clicks OK. Uh, I need to mine, or I need mining supplies. Now, because I moved it earlier, this should be spot on. Sold the max amount. Max amount. Max amount. I think I did it one more time, but it doesn't count because you can't sell it anyway. Then it exits. I guess one more for a safe measure. Closed. And then into his infinite loop because we're in the same spot that we started. So, yeah, I could basically leave this guy here and he would run this over and over and over again. Um, because I'm on a laptop and because I have to take the laptop uh, to different places, it doesn't have the ability to like sit here the entire time. Plus, I don't have the same resolution on my other screens, so long story short, I'm going to end it. F9. And then we are going to go to see how this bot is set up and runs. So, let's grab the code here. Coming up to the very top. Um, miner bot for picking, smelting, smithing, selling. Uh, talk to Taurus, and then run. So, uh, first thing I do is I set a variable speed of 10, and then I set three different delays. Uh, this is delays between harvesting, uh, delays between runs, and delays between smelting. Now this is me actually going there to the different locations and timing it out. How long does it usually take? Took about 10 seconds in between the, each harvest, took about 5 seconds between each uh, run spot place, and it took about 35 seconds for smelting. So, pretty long time. Um, what we do is when activate RuneScape, and then we start an infinite loop. 
I created a function called reset view, which is down here at the bottom. The reset view left clicks on here. Wait, yeah, oh, sorry, I'm doing a right click. Left clicks on the compass, which reorientates it to north. As soon as we reorientate to north, we send page down and we send up. So we hold those down. Okay, so we hold page down and then we hold up on the keyboard. So what this is doing, it recenters you every single time. So your clicks are going to be in the same spot three dimensionally, if that makes sense. Uh, we hold those two buttons, the page down and the up arrow key, for two seconds, and then we let them go. Up, up. Return to the top of the program. Alright, our first mouse click. This is me actually going through and saying my mouse is at 458.631. I click it left one time, and I delay two. Or I sleep for my delay too. That's the five seconds. Uh, once we're inside the cave, it's going to change our camera angle. So we do the same thing. We click on the compass, we hold page down, and we press the up arrow key. Resets the view every single time. From here, I wanted 13 of the mi the minerals and I could probably actually increase that delay because my mining skills have increased since then. Uh, I do a left click on er, on that. Now, this click is different. Hold on. I wanted 14 of them. My first mouse click, if you watch, it's not going to be in the same place after the first click. It moves slightly right, slightly down. So that's what the first click does. For the first time we click, then we sleep for the first harvest, and then 13 more times we click in the same place and we sleep. Then, for the 10, I came in and I found my XY coordinates. I was trying to find, so I didn't have to run around, trying to find the exact spot where I could mine some tin. Happened to be right over here. Again, the first click, and this is this actually got me a couple times. He mines, and then he moved forward. So there was a, a weird delay, or a, a weirdness to it. Uh, after that, we click 13 more times, and then we click on the door, on the cave exit. So then we come out, da, 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 da. and after you change scenes or you change areas, you have to reset. So it comes back up here, it clicks, does up and page down. That way we're zoomed all the way out and we're tilted all the way up. I said that already. It clicks on the smelter. Oh, sorry. Uh, reset the view. Click on the smelter. Give it delay 2, which is our running distance and then start smelter it actually clicks on I, I think it just takes the default which is bronze and then clicks on smelt so once we're smelted I don't think I can smelt oh, I can smelt one it waits for the smelting delay that variable that was at the top after that I click on this XY coordinate I think it's right in the center somewhere brings up the menu um, he selects, oh, he doesn't have to select, he's already got it. Wait a second. All right, reset the view. Click on the smelter, start smelting. Click on the anvil, start smithing. We delay three, uh, three divided by three because it was way too long. Then we click on the Miner Trader. So once we're done smithing, I'll just exit out of this, we click on Tobias again. Tobias. And this was 
me figuring out where the menu items were. Uh, click on the miner. Click the OK button, which is right here. I had 926, 865. Again, this is for my screen resolution. You would have to redo this if you have a different screen resolution. Uh, sleeps for two seconds. That's why you see these little delays. One, two. And then I actually send the keyboard command one, which is awesome that keyboard commands work. Then we left-click on the first item up here. Uh, no, we click here. Uh, click on cell supplies, right here. We wait for three seconds. And then, this is a loop. 4x equals 0 to 4, so it's five times. We left-click on the first item, right here. Then we click on the max button, which is right here. And then we click on the cell button. So it's a one second, one second, two second. And I found that I needed the two seconds because if there's a lot of people on or you got a really busy server or you got a bad connection, it will it will vary. This particular part will vary up and down. Wash, rinse, repeat. Uh, it then clicks on the X at the top, the exit button, right up here, and then it loops. So that is my simple bot, I guess, for um, RuneScape. Again, as long as you reset your view and you get to a certain point, as long as you can reach that point again, you can put a loop into it. Um, I did have a bot that would come over here and search for chickens. It would kill the chickens, kill the cows, stuff like that. And then it would search for this red, the meat red. And what it was doing, it was picking up the meat, it was taking it over, cooking the meat. It was, it was cool. Anyhow, that used um, the actual pixel searches and stuff like that instead of just simple clicks and pushes. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video on RuneScape botting. Um, I have more requests coming along. Um, like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy my videos. <laughs> Alright. I'm out! If I can figure out the buttons.